हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेस्ट आई टी सोल्यूशन टू ऑल ऑफ यू अगेन एंड टुडे विल डिस्कस न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज रजिस्ट्रेशन बाय मोबाइल ओ इन स्प्रिंग बोर्ड ओके सो इन वन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ वी कैन सेंड ओ टू मोबाइल बाय यूजिंग द टूलो ऐप ओके सो सिंपली आई हैव सेंड सो न्यू हाउ वी कैन सेंड द ओ टू फोन एंड हाउ वी कैन वेरीफाई दैट ओ so in this in this video we are continuing that video so here we have created new project and we will do a complete registration of a user with the help of this uh, otp verification so here we will using the uh, technology like maven and java 11 spring boot 2.7.17 postman mysql so we are also using the sql mysql database for storing our the user also the we will store the otp Later, with the with OTP, we will very validate uh, the OTP also, and data JPA and Spring uh, Wave. Okay, so we are using all this technology in this project. So these are all the steps uh, to create and uh, complete the project. So we will uh, do one by one, step by step. Okay, so first we uh, first step is our create a Spring Boot project and uh, by using this uh, technology. Okay. So just go to the spring dot uh, start dot spring dot io and create. A, I will quickly create this project. So this is our start dot spring dot io website, and here I am going to create the project. So the build tool is Maven, language is Java, and the version is 2.7.17. You can use any version according to you need to change the Java version also. And the group ID is like com dot tarun. and the artifact id is the id mean id means the project name so the project name is registration registration by mobile otp was so, the name registration by uh, mobile otp and okay so java packaging at jar demo description demo project for uh, mobile otp registration okay so you can uh, give any description here packaging name com dot tarun dot registration by mobile otp jar java version is 11 okay and we need to add the dependency of like web first thing is this is a web application rest api so web another one is like uh, lombok and on more is like mysql mysql driver and another is data jpa for database uh, query and the twilio so twilio dependency will be not available here so we will add manually from the maven repository okay so this much dependency we need to go to the document so dependency string hoye to ilo lombo mysql jp okay so this much so for the timing now we are recording uh, require this much if you need any more we'll add we can add later also okay so now just generate the project so you can see our project has already generated just go to the at folder yes our project has generated here and we need to extract here extract okay so this is our project now just go to the id and open that project in our sts okay so this is our previous project just close all the tab and just import the newly created project here import existing maven project browse from download download registration mobile app okay so this is our project so just select the uh, project uh, structure uh, previous folder and click on finish okay. so now our project is importing uh, to our uh, workspace and also down it will download all the required dependency from the maven repository and completely it will it will be depend upon the uh, your internet speed how much time it will take yes so we got the project here uh, registration this one 
So registration uh, by mobile OTP. Okay, so these are not project. Okay, so our first step is completed now. Okay, so this one is completed now. The second one is like set up application with properties file. So first we need to set up the properties file. Okay, so just go to the yes, SRC application with properties and we need to add some properties the configuration here. So like the account SID of Twilio app and just go to the Twilio here you can see we need to set up this account SID auth token and the uh, Twilio phone number. So these three things we need to uh, set up in the application that properties file. Okay. So I have already uh, previously created project. So I have copied from here and I am going to paste here. Okay. Okay, so Twilio dot account SID and uh, Twilio dot auth token and Twilio dot phone number. Okay. And one more uh, thing, just go to the pom dot XML file. Here you can see all the dependencies. So this is our Wave, JPA, MySQL connector, Lombok. Okay. So one more dependency we need to add like the uh, Twilio dependency. Okay. So just to go to that property file, you can download this Twilio dependency from the Maven repository. I have already downloaded before, so just paste in dependency section. Okay, so this is the Twilio dependency. Through, through this Twilio app only, we are going to send the OTP to mobile. So now project is ready, just for the time being now, just comment this one. Okay, uh, and our application properties also set. Now just go to the document. Our third step is create a controller class. Okay, now I am going to create the controller class for testing the uh, API. Our uh, project has successfully created or not. So I am going to create a package here. And the package name is dot controller. Suppose this one home controller. Okay. And you can write any like user controller also. So user controller. And inside that controller package. I am creating a class like home controller. Okay. Okay, so I have created the class and here I am going to create a so you can simply make this one as the controller okay refactor uh, rename so this one instead of user controller just make it the controller inside the controller all the controller will be present okay controller package inside the controller package we are creating a class that is suppose the uh, any name you can give no issue. So just write the user controller. User controller, okay. So just annotate with at the rate REST controller since I am going to build the API REST API. Okay, input that one. Public string uh, test. Okay, this one the test API, and inside that uh, return Oh, 
वेलकम टू स्प्रिंग बोट मोबाइल ओ टी पी रजिस्ट्रेशन प्रोसेस ओके जस्ट क्रिएट मैपिंग हेयर लाइक गेट मैपिंग and the mapping is slash so I'll just save it and run the program so it is uh, running or relaunching our application so just wait for some time yes application has started and port 8080 so just go to the postman and fire this URL local okay. host clone 8080 ok we got the output welcome to spring boot mobile OTP registration that means our project has successfully built and uh, created ok now we are going to create the other API so our controller class also created and according to document now we need to create a uh, configuration file another step here is like create a entity class ok so now I am going to create a configuration class you just go to the project and create the package like dot configuration finish so in configuration package I am going to create a, a class like a Twilo config Twilo config ok so since this is a configuration class I am going to at the rate configuration and inside the configuration class we need to create our configuration bin ok so, so these are the configuration bin we need to uh, create in the configuration class So inside the configuration class we need to config that properties file ok so these are these things and so make it at the rate data from Lombok and another thing like we need to add some uh, configuration properties a configurable prefix is equal to Twilo and private uh, string uh, account SID this one one variable we need to add another one is private string auth token ok and another one is private string phone number ok so this much uh, variable we need to pass here uh, this is our configuration class is ready ok now import all the properties ok all thing is set good Now just uncomment this pom.xml uh, 
JPA dependency because now it need this one for creating the OTP by creating the I'm sorry the project is this one here I have yet commented this one so just uncomment this one now okay save Uh, now we need to create a entity class so first I am going to create a package here like entity and inside entity package uh, I will create the class like the uh, user user ok so simply user user entity I am going to create user info ok so this user info is at the rate data from Lombok and at the rate entity this one is entity our entity class and at the rate no our constructor at the rate all our constructor okay so this thing also we need to add in here also uh, at the rate no our constructor and at the rate maybe it can be required here all our custard of wood and our entity is ready now just create some field here like private Okay, so we need to add some field private um, int uh, user id and another is private string user name private string to pass the mobile number mobile number yes so this much information we need here id username and mobile number so this one is primary key at the rate id and at the rate generated value equal to strategy equal to generation type dot auto equal to generation type dot auto okay and import java dot persistence okay So these are entities now ready. Okay. So now we are going to create the controller uh, for uh, sending the OTP. So I am going to create here a package of service. So this is our uh, package for service. Okay, so in the document, so create a service class now. After control complete, we create a service class. Then add to hello in main file. Another thing, create repository. And when the repository will create, we need to add the 
database uh, configuration as our database configuration in properties file okay so our fifth step is complete now create a service class now in service package i am going to create a service class like suppose this one user service okay so wanted with the at the rate service The next step is critical then add Twilio init method in our main file. Okay, so this is also very important uh, configuration we need to do. Otherwise, our uh, Twilio will not start. Okay, so this is our so we need to add this Twilio configuration in our. Main file. So main file is like this one is application dot Java. This our main file. In our main file, you need to add this configuration. Okay. So just import. So this one was Twilio config. Okay, this one is our. Uh, you need to in, in inject the bin of the Twilio config. So T -E W I L I O C O N F I G. Okay. So Twilio config. So we need to import this one, the Twilio config from the OTP configuration. Okay. So all thing and it will fetch the get account S I D and get uh at token okay now we go, uh, create entity class completed step 6 also completed that is uh, create service class 12 unit method 7 completed now or the 8th step is create the repository interface okay so now i'm going to create interface so first i'm going to create a package uh, dot repo and inside repo package, I am going to create the interface that is uh, user repository. Okay, just finish it. So, annotated with at the rate repository. This is optional, you can annotate it or not. I can skip this uh, step. Okay, and inside user repository, we need to extend with JP repository. Okay, so our entity class is uh, user info. You need to pass the entity class here, and we need to pass the type of the primary key. Okay. So here our primary key is just check uh, primary key user id that is integer string username and mobile number okay so just import user info from the entity and in we can also pass the uh, message uh, to the entity like uh, we can also pass the message like i wait string uh, message we can also pass some message also Okay, good. So repository is ready. Now our next step is add the database configuration properties file. So we need to add the 
माय स्केल कॉन्फ़िगरेशन प्रॉपर्टीज टू दी एप्लीकेशन डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज सो दिस आर द माय स्केल प्रॉपर्टीज दिस डाटा सोर्स यू नीड टू मेंशन दिस डाटा सोर्स इन एप्लीकेशन प्रॉपर्टी ओके सो जस्ट ओके and the database name is user you need to create a database or a database should be present in this name user so just go to the database or check if there is a database present in the name user or not if not you need to create this and so here user is also there so show databases as you can see here the user so user is there any uh, tables present inside is user yes so we can drop so drop user so we can uh, drop the table user okay so table inside user okay sorry with the uh, table as a drop drop table is executed successfully okay that means now there are no uh, table is present in the uh, inside this database okay so tables yes. so no table is present now just go to the create and user database okay just run the application for creating the table with the following field also for verification we need to create another entity that is uh, otp verification so i am going to create this and also here class OTP so we need not to create entity we can create also DT also so just create entity okay so next uh, we will see we will create this one uh, after running the project successfully okay so just run the project now all set good i think we user create table user info user id okay our user table as user info table as created with a uh, no error so just go to the database now click on show table yes i will say user info so table user info yes so user id mobile number message username or table is created now from the controller we need to create the api for sending the message so create public Uh, string and the send otp okay and we need to inject the uh, bin of the user service okay so private user service user service just import the user service and unted with at the rate auto add now this is the post mapping at the rate post mapping and 
class send odb just import the post mapping and you need to write the logic for uh, user service user service okay so with the help of this user service we need to call the return user service dot send otp okay so we need to pass the parameter here so at the rate request body uh, we need to pass the user info user info user info so we need to pass that user info to the user service now we need to create this method inside the user service okay our method is created now inside the user uh, we need to apply the repository so private uh, user repository okay user repository user repository at the rate auto add just import the user repository now after uh, set all these things we need to after the business logic we need to send the data to the user repository so user repository dot save user so before saving the user user info now we need to write the we need to also what what were the uh, twilio config here because we need to write that twilio config auto add private to ilio config to ilio config just import the to ilio config okay now with the help of this to ilio config object we are going to send the otp okay So just I have. So now we need to write the business logic for storing the uh, data. So this already I have um, done this video previously. So I am explaining you, explaining you what is the things like you need to set the phone number. This is the recipient phone number. So recipient phone number, new phone number. You just uh, get it from the. user info so user info there is user info so from user info we can get the phone number user dot uh, sorry user dot 
get mobile number okay like sender phone number so this one you get from the twilio config okay this is the sender phone number and the otp we need to generate the otp okay okay and the message also we can fetch from the uh, user info user info dot get message we can get the message info okay and message message create receive phone number sender phone number otp message okay dot create and we need to generate the otp also okay so for generating the otp uh, we can write this code for generating the otp okay For saving, we need to generate this. Class and OTP. This is the user service class. Okay, so before user service class, we need to write the um, OTP generation. Okay, so generate OTP. generate OTP okay okay so here OTP will generate and it will return that OTP okay no issue uh, return OTP and successfully to user registered user mobile number user mobile number okay Message OTP generate OTP so you can append the OTP also so plus OTP so OTP you need to append so it will send the OTP okay. In so this is the method send OTP user info user info and we have set the recipient phone number from the uh, user info and we have set this uh, sender phone number from the Twilio config this one the, this is the sender phone number okay so these things you need to get from the uh, Twilio app okay so I have already uh, discussed these things in my, my previous video you can refer this one how to create this create this phone number and all these things. So in Twilio app, so if you log into Twilio, you need to create an account in Twilio. So when you will create the account, you first they will provide only the $15 uh, amount for creating the, for sending the OTP and all these things. So in phone number section dashboard, there is a, um, a section like manage, in manage buy number. So you can buy any number from which number you want to send the OTP. Okay. So these are the numbers, you can buy any number to send the OTP, so from this number OTP will send and to which number you want to send that number also you need to register in Twilio that is in verified color ID section, so there is a, a like add new color ID section, so in add new color ID you can 
mention your uh, states like a uh, uh, country like india and you can add here your number and then verify number or otp will uh, go to that number and after verifying the otp that number will add in this section this number i have added this much number and then only you can uh, send the otp to that number after add, um, adding okay so now make it update because already table has created so these are the account sid or token and our phone number okay and string otp to generate otp so otp will generate then otp message equal to what user input and get message now uh, message equal to message now uh, before saving the uh, data you need to set the uh, otp also so user info dot set okay so there is no otp field actually we need to uh, create a field for otp also okay so message private string otp so otp also need to save in the database for uh, verify ne uh, next time okay so set user info dot now set otp of okay, this one set otp and the what is otp we have generated so otp okay we need to set this otp here create to be generate otp generate otp the otp message equal to generate get message message equal to message to get receive phone number set the phone number and the otp message otp message the user info dot get message dot create So now the OTP will store in this generate OTP. We will remit save user in OTP is successful to user mobile number. Number send message and OTP message. So in message, you need to okay. Just verify these things. So we need to recreate our uh, so now oh, since we have uh, make some changes in the user info, so we need to uh, recreate the table again. So just go to the application that properties file and make it create. Okay, so now make it create by which the table will be create recreate again. So just save it and launch the application. So in a previously in our user info table there are only one two three four field. There is no OTP field now. One OTP field has created here. Okay, so that means our uh, table has created successfully. Now make it update again. So in service class, uh, in our service user service class message and user that set OTP equal to OTP user that save user info. Okay, so yes. Now just try it in the application successfully created and test it in the postman okay by sending the uh, OTP. So just go to the postman and create a new API that is post 
localhost slash send OTP and we need to pass the body so raw see the JSON format we need to pass the data so whatever fields are there so in user info so user info the fields are like uh, id just verify once in user info fields like id is auto generated user id user name mobile number message otp okay so just user name username is so suppose Deepak and another another field is like a mobile number so mobile number so you can give the mobile number here so you need to write the mobile number in proper format and another field is like message and OTP so message your OTP is okay your OTP from Twilo is okay and OTP sorry OTP we need not to pass because OTP we have set there manually okay because in this step OTP will generate first in the verification step we need to pass the OTP okay so just send it ok so you can see here the output is like the uh, OTP sent successfully to user mobile number so just go to that uh, database first check in database we got the OTP or not so select start from user info yes data will save and your uh, send Twilio trial account is you can see we got the OTP also here sent from the Twilio account but we have we are unable to see the OTP here sent from Twilio trial account your OTP from Twilio is but here we are not able to see the OTP but here you can see OTP is stored here so for that reason uh, we need to write the uh, append the OTP there in the message body in user service uh, in user service so OTP message user info dot get message uh, then we need to append the OTP and then only OTP will uh, save the uh, OTP will go with the message body just relaunch the application again so have to make it update the properties will okay okay yes application is started so just uh, again uh, your OTP from Twilio is ok so just send it OTP sent successfully to user mobile number so just go to the database and just refresh it yes we got the OTP and you can see your uh, OTP from Twilio is 568907 same OTP you can see here it is save in the database also 568907 so that means our OTP is successfully going to the application OTP ok so for verification we need to write another uh, API in our controller so now the OTP is successfully uh, sent to the mobile number now for uh, completing registration we need to verify that OTP ok so we can do one thing so public string verify OTP 
So in verify OTP a method, we need to pass the uh, username so in request parameter. Request param string username and another thing is like the OTP string OTP. So we need to uh, pass this to parameter in you know, request param. So import the request param. So at the rate post mapping. Verify OTP. So verify OTP. Then with the help of this user service, we need to call the service method. Is a service dot verify OTP, and we need to pass this username. and OTP. Okay, naming combination we should uh, follow. So now we need to create that this verify OTP method in our uh, service class. So this is verify OTP method. Now from that username uh, we can get the uh, user details then we can from the user detail we can get the OTP and we can match that OTP with this OTP so this is our uh, the logic business logic okay so first we need to find the user detail suppose user uh, what is our repository object is this one so user repository dot find by find by so find by id there is also there find by id so if we pass the id then it will get the complete user so we need to pass the ID in the uh, from the survey from the controller okay so suppose instead of passing the parameter we can pass the int user ID okay then we need to pass this user ID from the user ID and in service also need to access this int user id ok so we need to pass this user id here that is so it will return the complete user details okay asset blocker okay so it will uh, return the optional find by id then we can get the user 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 equal to find by id dot get so it will fetch the user info Okay, you get the user info object and from that user info you can get the user particular user okay yes and in that user uh, we can do we can get the OTP so if uh, user dot get OTP and dot equals uh, our OTP. What OTP we have got from the parameter? 
OTP, then return OTP verified successfully. Else return invalid OTP. Please try again. Okay, so. So this type should be string and our uh, controller also we need to write yes it is also a string. So control OTP written in the string only okay. Otherwise, right, we can return. Return, okay. Need not to assign a local variable, directly right, we can return the user service that verify OTP change return type verify OTP to string verify OTP. Okay, this is one string. OTP verified successfully and invalid. OTP style. So in this in this way we can validate our OTP. Uh, okay. So and if you want to validate with the other uh, field like by username, you can also write that method like the uh, find by username. You can explicitly write this method here in the repository. Okay. So just uh, run the application. Save and run the application. Okay. Now from postman, so first hit that API, it is working or not, yes, then create another uh, API for post, for verify OTP, so localhost uh, slash verify OTP, okay. And your body, body form data in formula. First, I need to pass the user ID, the ID one, and the uh, OTP. Suppose the uh, from database we can check the for user ID one, the OTP is 292749. Okay, so OTP is. Two nine two seven four nine. Send. Yes, OT verified successfully. So what we can do? We will create a new user, another name. Suppose this is Rajesh, and mobile number is the same. Your OTP two is okay. Just register another user, okay. Yes, we created a, a new user OTP sends accessibility mobile number. Just go to the uh, okay. So we got the OTP 990927. You can see here we got the OTP 990927. Just copy that OTP here 990927. Sorry, 990927 and the user ID is 3 cent. But OTP verified successful because the user ID is 3. In database, also you can say new user entry, just refresh it. Yes, so 3 and the uh, OTP is 990927 and the Rajas. 
if you will enter the wrong OTP, suppose instead of 7, I am entering the 8 and I am trying to check it, yes, you are invalid OTP, please try again. So, it will not accept the OTP, that OTP is not validated. Then you can create a field like during the registration, uh, we can create a field here like user is active or inactive, then after the um, successful verification, when the user is registered at the first time, it will show here the user is inactive. And after the successful verified the OTP, then you can make it as the active. You can do this thing also. Okay. So, this is a, all about the registration uh, using the mobile OTP by Twilo up through the Twilo application. So, our steps are like uh, add the database configuration, after running test, test it postman, check the rece receiver mobile for OTP and to help the student then verify the OTP it is correct or not ok so also verifying the OTP and then another step is like the uh, validating the OTP also we are also validating the OTP with another API ok So, this is our validating OPI verify OTP and this is our postman send OTP and this is all about the, uh, so in this way if you follow this uh, all the steps of this uh, document uh, you, and step by step you will do the practical then you can definitely do this one by yourself. So, thank you guys and uh, if you think that you have got some knowledge from this video please like and share the video with your friends and please please subscribe the channel by which I can motivate and I can make more and more video on this topic ok. So, thank you and if you have any query you can ask me in comment section I will uh, definitely try to solve your query. Thank you.